Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video I'll be going through the DFS um, statistics on the AFL Women's and seeing if we've seen any role changes, if there's any like good forwards or defenders with um, CBAs, even looking at the kickouts and seeing how that's uh, running at the moment for some of the girls. And yeah, so before we get into the video, remember to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I upload and let's get into the video. So I kind of have to make this um, quick just because of the amount of content that there is to um, go through. Uh, but we'll try and make it 45 or so seconds on each um, team. But as you can see with um, with Adelaide here, there's nothing really to look at it. Ponta is uh, a forward. These other, I think Alan is a, um, a ruck if I want to go correctly. Alan... Alan is a ruck, so yeah, there's, um, I can actually just do this on all clubs, actually, to be honest with you. Um, so you got Alan as a ruck, Ponta is a forward, um, but her scores don't really correlate that well, and Chelsea Randall is another forward, but as you can see here, that's really inconsistent timing. Um, then we go over to Brisbane here, uh, Brisbane is pretty set, to be honest with you, Hampson's come in, meaning that Savick and, um... Savick and Hickey, I mean, Hickey is a ruck, so that's just McGee coming in, I'm guessing. Um, and Taylor Smith was beforehand. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing really to look there at, to be honest with you. And um, no real noticeable changes there. You will see when we get deeper in here that there are some changes. Uh, Carlton Shear has got a really good role, and if I remember correctly, she she is a midfielder. Then you've got um, Mackay is a midfielder. Mimi Hill, I believe, is a midfielder as well, or a named midfielder as well. Um, Good is a ruck. Goss, um, her role is decreasing, it seems like, or isn't really as. So Goss is one that you could um, look at here, just looking at the scores, 34, 51, 48. So she does get better scores um, with, obviously, the higher... Um, CBAs, but um, but I do think she'll just average forty or something like that. I don't think it's um the best uh role per se. Then we move over to Collingwood. Um, Benici's role is getting better, which is really good. Um, Bree Davies' role um with the tags is starting was starting to get really bad. So she she could cop another tag. I don't know if if Saint Kilda will tag necessarily. But um, I don't like that um, that role decreasing necessarily, so I'm probably going to trade her out, and it's just whether I go to Bowers or to um, to Gardner, I guess this um, this week. Uh, and then you got all that, etc., etc. And Benici, as we said, one hundred percent. Sheridan, um, I believe she is a midfielder. Sheridan is a midfielder, seven hundred k, so something to watch out if she is seven hundred k with that type of role. Frederick has said, and Can, I believe, is a midfielder. Yep, she is. So then we move on to the next one. Yes, I am flying through these because I know that um, I know that I need to get through them, especially if I want to see the, or show you guys the, uh, the kickouts as well as just run quickly through the ruck contest and show you who really is the best um, and worst rucks, as I think it's already pretty obvious, but I just want to show you the stats, sort of back that up. Uh, Pres Barkis Wales, um, a little bit of a decrease for Kane, um, I hope I said that right, she's a midfielder so definitely stay clear of her as her role is decreasing week by week, I don't know whether this could be, and I was uh, going through this uh, um, earlier but off camera and I was like thinking about it and I was like any sort of fluctuation that's around about 8 to 10% could easily just be that um, CBAs are higher in one game and lower in one game, such as you miss two CBAs out of, um, say, 20 in one game, and that's 10%, so you're at 90% overall. And then you miss two CBAs in a 12 uh, CBA game, and that's uh, one in six. So, um, and one in six would be 16% uh, loss, so you're, you're already losing there around about for eight CBA difference or it's around five six percent even though you didn't actually miss an, um more CBAs or anything you didn't miss more you didn't miss less CBAs just the amount of CBAs can fluctuate it by 10 12 15 percent if you get down into the lower CBAs so that's why it's a lot harder with the women compared to the men's because the men's have 
most likely going to be around 25 to 30 CBAs a game, whereas you can see here with the women's, it's 15 to. And you can see here, there's 19 here and 14 here. So I reckon Prisbarkas potentially missed one more CBA um, in this game or something like that. You can actually work out the numbers. But um, yeah, um, Nanscorn, I actually think the role's increased in there. So if you can hold Nanscorn, that'd be good. Um, who, do, who do Essendon play? Let me just check. Nanscorn, Nanscorn, Nanscorn. Frio, so if you could hold Nanscorn, that'd be good. I might actually do that now, looking at it, and just get rid of um, Stratton as well there, but I do need um I do need Everest as well. So we'll look. Um, but I do think McCarthy playing um playing West Coast and being in the side will be better than um than holding, I think, overall. But as I said with um these need to go quickly and just looking at it here, it's uh Kane is the biggest roll drop, I guess. Moving on to Frio, as that's the next one. Um and they're pretty set, not gonna lie. Um Kaufman and East, a sort of East's role is falling through the clouds. Looking at that, and she is on the um. Let me just check. Is she? Let me just check. Is with their um with their team news. I just want to see do Frio play on the Sunday. Frio, let's get out of there. Uh, Frio play on the Sunday so that yes, she is on the bench. She's gonna be on the bench, but um that role and that forward um being a forward doesn't really help. Um, given that her role is just falling. And um, I think that's correlated uh, slightly to Bowers coming back um, and that role is sort of dropping alongside that of, um, well, I mean, O'Sullivan's role is mostly because of um, Bowers, I think, but I think there's a slight um, correlation between Bowers coming back and um, East's role dropping. Then we move on to Gold Coast, just trying to be wary of time here. Um, and then you've got singles roles, good, but it's a tagging role. Row bottoms role is good, and Bella and Whitford, and that's pretty much it. And then Drennan's role has dropped through as well. So if you look at Drennan, her midfield role, she seems to, I'm guessing, be playing a wing role. Uh, not Whitford, I need uh, Drennan quickly here. Drennan, um, da, 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 where is it? Here we go. Interchange, interchange, interchange. Um, midfield, interchange, mid, mid, mid. Doesn't really say anything across her whole time, that, what she's been doing. Um, she could be the third, the fourth mid, um, but I kind of doubt that, to be honest with you. I think she's playing mostly a wing role at the stoppages, but there were only 11, as you can see here, only 11, so it's really hard. She only attended two. Uh, CBAs, so it could just be a fact that the low CBAs could have massively affected it. Then we move on to Geelong, and Geelong, and this is the one that I think we need to highlight here, is that although it hasn't happened because Morrison is at 100% CBAs, there is a big issue with, um, if we go to weeks, uh, season 7, with Webster coming back into the side, 79% CBAs, and we look at where is Morris. Morrison, did she get... Yeah, Morrison's the one below Webster. 100% CBAs. Look at the CBA difference other than these two rounds here and this round here. So three games out of the 10. So 30% of the time, Morrison had roughly similar numbers in CBAs. But outside of that, and was there any correlation to that? It was hard, most of this this in round six and seven was because Prisparkus was gone. She was out, I'm guessing injured. So that's the reason why it was so high. And then outside of that, I don't know why in the Collingwood game, Nina Morrison got time, but um, yeah. So I think there is a high likelihood, um, if you actually look at that, that it's one in eight realistically with their full mid midfield back that um, Morrison actually gets the same numbers as... Um, Webster or a decent CBA count. We're looking at 39, 30, 33, etc. So I think you need to be wary of that. Outside of that, um, Prezi's getting really good numbers. Um, Hoare's numbers dropping a little bit. Um, trying to figure out who actually is the other Ruckman. It could, I know, who is it? I, I don't know who it actually is. Because I thought it was Darby, but Darby didn't go in the Ruck. Um, but Hall had 57, so that's really weird. I don't know who they necessarily put in the ruck um, if it wasn't for Hall, but they only had seven CBAs. So it was really, really just weird numbers all around. Uh, moving on to GWS in the time's really running away from us, I can just see. Uh, Parker, 
is she she might be injured. I don't know if Park is Parker injured. Parker, no, she's playing. Okay. So there's Parker, um, Delaware, and then you see um, Flo Davies's role has just gone in, uh, gone completely down, and it looks like um, uh, Gurmbeck, Gurmich is uh, picking up her role. So um, that could be a worry, and that's why you probably should be looking at trading her out. Um, and then no one else here really, but these these are flipping so uh, so much. So I'd probably stay clear of anyone other than um, Parker. If uh if I was to uh pick any um GWS midfielders, uh then we go on to Hawthorne. Hawthorne you got Bates, um Fleming's role is sort of increasing or holding at a high rate now. Lucas's ro- Lucas Rod's uh role is decreasing, so probably stay clear of that. Wales, um I don't really like um her in the ruck to be honest. I think she's just averaging sixties, isn't she? Uh, 6746 I don't really care about that too much Tamara Luke's role is decreasing over time as she gets uh, less time in the ruck as Wales sort of builds up her fitness um, Tamara Smith Stratton's role is sort of flip floppy all around so um, just wait on that but she's still a good cash gen for anyone that has her so I'd still keep her um, and then we move over to the next one which will be um, I'm guessing Melbourne yeah, be Melbourne. Melbourne have the big um three, and then you got Paxman coming back in forty eight percent, and I think Paxman will impact um negatively on Hall, and I think Hall's role will go down. So Hall's gonna have to score a lot of her points um outside of the center, um outside of the center square, and that's gonna be quite tough. So I wouldn't be surprised if Hall drops a little bit, but um. I wouldn't also be surprised if she's still able to keep it up because they it's Melbourne. They're going to have the ball in their forward half quite a lot. So Hawes, one that I want to watch for this week, alongside Morrison and see what their roles are. We could even obviously see Morrison take still a lot of the CBAs, but I wouldn't be surprised if um Webster takes some off her. And the same with Hawes. I wouldn't be surprised if she is around that 20% again, 10%. Uh, Paxman's probably going to build into it again, so we'll wait and see on her score this week. And then the rest are pretty... Pierce, Hanks, West. Um, Pierce is the ruck, Hanks is a midfielder, and West, I believe, is a midfielder, yeah. So they're all midfielders there. Nothing to look at, really, there. Then we go over to North, and you'll see Gardner, Riddell, King, King, and Smith, and I believe they're all... Um, Emma King's the ruck, but she's a forward. Um, so with Emma King, there's not really much there. I mean, unless she just ran, unless she, she's getting an increased role. So we'll see what happens there. And then, what was the other one? Who was the other one? Smith. Smith. Um, as you see here, a defender, and she she'll play, but it'll be interesting to see her role. Like um, likewise with uh, Priest is one of the only defenders that has potential midfield time. And hopefully that'll increase as um, that'll give us another midfielder, um, another defender to go for in the near future. Port Adelaide, um, Aaron Phillips' role is still holding, so that's fine. Um, Schultz's role is slightly down a little bit. Um, it's, um, I believe, who's necessary? There's like, I think it's Tickle and, um, and also, is it Tahu that's... Who's also giving her... I don't know who's necessarily backing up Schultz in the ruck, to be honest with you, because these numbers don't really align, because it's that's really weird. But, um, yeah, Schultz's role is still there, obviously, as the main ruck. Um, and these girls are sort of holding. Um, wouldn't really say anyone's decreasing ridiculously. You could say, obviously, I just saw Stewart. Um, is Stewart still a midfielder? Yeah, she's a midfielder, so she's going to struggle um, getting in. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty good. Then you got Richmond here, and Richmond, um, Egan's role just collapsed in that last game. Um, Egan as a midfielder, yeah, that role just absolutely collapsed. Looking at it, um, uh, McDonald, Hoskin, um, Seymour, Conti, so, and then you've got Mackenzie to probably come back in. I don't know what happened with her. Did she injure herself? Mackenzie injured herself, okay, so she could easily be out for the whole season. I don't know what the injury was or the injury timeline for that was. Someone probably help me out in the comments below 
with that. Um, but with um with Richmond, it is just Seymour Conti, and McDonald, etc. I don't see there being, um, what is Hoskin? Hoskin is another mid. Which one was it? Which one was it? S or J? <laughs> Um, S. Hoskin is a midfielder, so that's that's fine. Uh, so nothing really to look at there. Then we go over to St. Kilda, and you'll see Priest, Smith, um, Nalda, Vesley. So it's really just Priest, I think, that you really need to watch out for. Her and Smith seem to be the ones, the defenders to go to um, in a couple of weeks when we do actually upgrade defenders, as I don't see there being much value in upgrading the defenders at the moment. And so they will be the defenders to go to. And then Lambert, is she a forward? Is she classified as a midfielder? She's classified as a midfielder, so that doesn't really matter. And that's about it for them. And then Sydney, you'll see Malloy, you'll see Gardner, you'll see um, Kennedy's role has co- uh, collapsed. You will see them be able to pick up 29% of Ham's uh, role as she's out this week. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see some rotations through the midfield because it is West Coast and they should probably they should comfortably beat them. So uh, Moffat's strong there is obviously is the number one ruck. Um, with uh, trying to figure out it was Mitch. It's Mi- it's Mitchell and Hamilton both backing her up in the ruck. That's what it was. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see Cynthia Hamilton a little bit higher. Kennedy could probably be a little bit higher. I also wouldn't be surprised if you saw is McCarthy in any of these. No, she's just playing a wing role. Um, Malloy. I wouldn't be surprised if they would try and uh try her out a little bit forward. Um, Gardner's going to hold that role as well. But um, it should be a high CDA game again. The Swans like to both concede and score. Then we go over to Western Bulldogs. And um, Berry, what's her... What's the go with her? She's a forward, so watch... Just watch Berry, um, just in case. Uh, Lamb as well, her role is very fluctuating. Uh, you see Moody is the is a ruck, I believe. It's Moody's... Moody is a ruck, right? No, she's a forward. What was her price? 538. So just watch that as well. Um, but you got Fitzgerald, Blackburn, Edmonds, and Pritchard. I believe they're all. Um, and then Carruthers' role just collapsed on itself. Um, so, yeah, definitely try and get rid of Carruthers if you do somehow have her. And then we move over to West Coast. And West Coast, it is Lewis. Um, Swanson's role collapsed in the... Um, in the Gold Coast game, but that seems to be a tag. Uh, when the tag occurs, they try and move her around to escape that tag. Um, wait for Robert's role is just sort of eh, but I think she can get out, uh, can sort of get points outside of it. Uh, wait for it seems to be the number one ruck as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if you see Swanson at 90% wake for 90. Um, McCarthy and Lakay, so McCarthy, um, McCarthy is a midfielder and Lakay. Lekay is a ruckman that's on the bench, but the Swans play on Sunday, I believe, so that's why I think she'll be fine there. But her role, oh, I think um, I actually take that back. I think Lekay and Wakefield will share 50-50, basically. Um, Rowley, let's just see Rowley as her role is fluctuating. Rowley, midfielder. So anyway, that is pretty much all of the CBAs. I'm just quickly going to flick through the... Um, the kick-ins and the ruck contest. So kick-ins wise, you got Bedell and uh, Mueller to watch out for. Brisbane, uh, no one. They're all sort of sharing it to be honest with you. Um, Carlton, do they have any number one kicker? Not really. Pound sort of took a lot of it in the when she'd been back, but it was uh Vlado before that. Collingwood, um, it seems to be um Jordan Allen that takes a lot of it. Essendon, um, it's Brooke Brown, but she's a horrible play on um, from the uh, from the kick out, so don't even regard that. Basically, um, Frio's pretty even. West Coast, yeah, um, sorry, no, Gold Coast, uh, pretty even to be honest. Daisy Darcy has a good um, had missed a play on here, but yeah, pretty even. But maybe no, they're pretty even actually. Now looking at that, um, and then it would be. It would be here, would it? No, we need... To, they classify Gold Coast as a GC, so we need to look at... Um, we need to look at Geelong and it's Emonson. So, yeah, definitely Emonson is definitely one that you could look at. Uh, GWS, it's Tiny Evans, but pretty much everyone has her. 
Hawthorne, um, Ashmore a little bit. So Ashmore's role was actually really, really kind. So you could look at Ashmore, but I think she needs to put up even better scores to even be looked at. Melbourne, it's um, Madison Gay, I guess. They're, they're pretty split. North, um, it's just Carney, which is really, really good. Um, and then you've got Port here. And it's uh, Ballard and uh, McLaughlin. They're pretty evenly split. Richmond here. It's um, pretty evenly split again. Port. It's... Uh, we already looked through that. Sorry. It's St Kilda is Jacobson. And they're Jacobson and then sort of others behind her. Then Sydney, you've got Ella Heads is the one doing it. And that's why she's sort of keeping in my side because she knows to kick on, for, uh, to play out. Or sorry, play on and then um, kick it. So she's gotten a clean 30 points there. Western Bulldogs, you've got um, Jordy, um, this name that I'm going to butcher. She's gone seven for seven in the last game and Lynch four for four. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see Hunt and her take up most of it. And then for West Coast, you've got um, Charlotte Thomas taking most of them. And that's she just needs to learn to play on from them because that would really help her uh, points wise. Then one last check, we go to Ruck Contests, and we'll quickly go through that. Allen is the main Ruck there, some side rucking there. Then you've got Hickey doing most of the Ruck there, and some side work from some of them. you got at Carlton, you got Good and Moody doing pretty much all of it. Collingwood, you've got Frederick, and then a little bit from Fowler when she plays, and Barnett when she plays. Essendon, um, you got Wales, and that's pretty much it. Um, and then Frio, I mean, all of this you can sort of look through. I'm just sort of seeing, is there anyone that has, when I look through this, Bella has a 50% uh, uh, hit out rate. A lot of them are 40-odd percent. And I think the real big uh, big one here is to, just to go to the Sydney one and to look at Moffat. I know that this is probably a little bit biased, but she's getting majority share, right? She's also getting the hit-out percentage that is at least 5 to 10% higher than I've seen anyone else here that I can really look at. Um, Richmond, do they have any... Like, we're seeing 40, 45 or 47 here. North is 46. Um, Port, 47. Uh, Melbourne, 47. Um, Hawthorne... 59% for Tamara Luke, but that is dropping a lot. So, I mean, you could say that that is... But she will fall behind, I think, overall once uh, Wales gets up to speed and another two or three rounds, Wales will overtake her and then that will just be like a... She, Tamara Luke will still do really well in the ruck, but um, she won't have the, the high uh, percentage ruck contest to really get by. Geelong, we talked about Hall. GWS, we talked about um, Flo Davies. So that pretty much is the video. A very, very long video but just going through all the DFS stats and basically showing that there are a couple players um that are very very high on the have very very good roles or uh very very good underlying statistics that could easily just pop out and a couple people's roles that have just completely collapsed in the last uh, week or two and how there's a couple of smokies for girls that are going to absolutely collapse in roles based on some people that are coming back from injuries and stuff like that and some people that are just named for round four. But anyway, that is the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.